Let's go up to the first and the South African lefty, Garrick Higo. And what a wonderful start that is, a birdie three at the opening hole. Behind the palm trees down there is the South African Garrick Higo at the second. Hundred and eighty three yard par four this one. What a recovery shot that is from Higo. Brilliant. Now let's see whether he go after that brilliant recovery shot at the second. And make his birdie. He can. What a great start that is. Birdie birdie for a young South African. Eric Higo has birded the first two holes and he's hit an aggressive tee shot to this tight pin at the third. Can he make it three in a row? Wow, <laughs> he means business today. Garrick Higo, tremendous start. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Garrick Higo off a three birdie start. Had a position at the par five fourth. His second shot coming off the slope there. Should draw the ball in. And again, what an incredible start this is to the round from Garrick Higo. Incredible start. If he rolls this one in, five under through four. Move to 16 under and two ahead. And does firmly. Oh, wow. He's been out of position throughout this hole, isn't he? Off the tee with his second shot and now with his third, so that brilliant start under threat of his first bogey of the day. Well, he's potted his boots off, hasn't he, so far? He's done everything well so far, Jamie, other than that tee shot, which is a bit squiffy. It is an outrageous par from Garrick Higo. Stays bogey free, five under through the first six holes. Lovely full follow through from Higo. And he's found the fairway, which is unusual for him today. Here's our leader. Second shot to the ninth, 135. Just a little nine iron up this hill. Two putts for an outward half of 29. This for 28, can you believe it? Right to left. Come on, come on. Oh, it's slow. There's a bit of grain into halfway there. It just killed it. Yes, we can really see that on the camera, Jamie. The dark coloured grass suggests the grass is growing back towards the player. Into the grain, we call it, and really did, like putting through syrup. And he's only got a three wood, so I know he's long. It is downhill 11. This. He likes it. And so he should, into the throat of the green. Didn't quite get the big enough bounce to get him onto the putting surface. You can see he's struggling to unlock it, Jamie, can't you? Lots of thought and practice swings. Look at the amount of spin he got on that. That was incredible. Jumped to the left, cut across it so dramatically to try and create maximum purchase. That was high quality. Birdie start to the back nine and extends his lead. Garrick Higo moves to 17 under par. Chip and run, trying to kill it in the bank. Not bad. I thought he'd play the same shot he played on the last, actually. Thought he could have spun it. He didn't see it that way. Tough one, that.
Par 5 13th, out of bounds. All the way down the left, that's the Atlantic Ocean. Well, true to form, it's another fairway missed. Pointing right. Ball was below his feet, expected it to fade. And did completely the opposite, a double cross. Bounding down the path. Danger is going long here. I expect this short of the flag. Came out beautifully. Yeah, very well played. Brilliant short game. Young South African Scott, he really has. Birdie part for Higo at 13. I'd be disappointed. Yeah. 106. Ball sitting up. It's actually sitting up too well. I might get too much spin. Pin right at the back. past the pin didn't quite get it to land on the putting surface but still a good shot he go to go clear at the top once again wow 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 he is quite a magician isn't he with the putter, it is another birdie for South Africa's Garrick Higo. Six under for his round with four holes to go. Just a pitch into this 16th green for Higo, but he's off a steep upslope. He's just gone down a club to hit it lower. It's got to go, it's going to spin. No, it didn't. Good shot, controlled it beautifully. So sort of a tale of two nines, isn't it, really, for Higo? To 18. Well, quickly down for the tee normally suggests that it's fine, and there it is. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway. 138 can only be a strong sand iron. Par 5 drive and a sand iron. Straight downwind, great opportunity here. Say, with such a short club in his hand, that's a really poor second shot. Lob it onto the green. I expect a little bit of spin. A bit of spinach here. No, it's got away from him. Or get in. Won't be a happy boy if he walks off with a five at the par five, only hitting the sand out in for your second shot. Well, this for the birdie, and similar line to Ash and Wu earlier, and it just drifted to the right on that occasion. I think straight and firm will do it. Yeah, well done. He doesn't miss many of those, does he, Garrick? He go. It is a round of 63 on Saturday for the 21-year-old South African. Garrick, congratulations on a fantastic start. He started off three shots back and now you're taking the lead by two with a 63 today how was it for you it was good i mean it was an unbelievable start obviously um but i, I wasn't playing that well i think it's definitely the course um where you can hit it offline um i putted well I, my chipping has been great um so i definitely scored very well explain to us what you mean by it doesn't feel like you started off well because in my opinion, it was a stellar start with the birdie, birdie, birdie and eagle run. What did you think was on the cards at that point? No, 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 I, I agree with you. I, I mean, I definitely started unbelievably. I mean, I just said I, I didn't play so well um, in terms of off the tee, but the start was unbelievable. I mean, 
a, <laughs> a couple times we were in some funny spots and I couldn't believe where I hit them. So, yeah. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.